Before the latest round of violence broke out, 6,000 young adults from all over the world headed to Israel. Many were from right here in South Florida. Their story in sharp contrast to what's going on right now. News 12's photojournalist Dan Cohen journeyed with them. He and News 12's Lindsey Cohen shows us what the trip meant for one Boca Raton team. The sun was just gorgeous coming up over the Dead Sea. Mount Masada in the morning. It certainly paints a much different picture than the escalating violence of today. But the turbulent images of the Israel-Lebanon conflict are a far cry from the dancing joyous times that Jamie Silverstein had just a few weeks ago. The Boca Raton teenager spent 10 days in Israel riding camels, floating in the Dead Sea, and touching the Western Wall in Jerusalem. The trip in turn touched her heart and opened her eyes. I'm definitely more aware, and I think that's a good thing because I also can say to people, you know, all this, these horrible, horrible things might be going on, but it's, it's still safe to go there, it's still safe to be a supporter, and I think that's important. And it is very important to the 19-year-old that Jews and non-Jews alike continue visiting Israel in the future. A future including teenagers much the same as Silverstein herself. The only difference, instead of going to college like she did, they head into the army. Service is mandatory. They go to the grocery store with a gun on their shoulder. On her mind now are new Israeli friends, kids just like her but with a very grown-up and dangerous duty. Israel's military has been on the When I do see things on the news about bombings or fighting going on in, in Israel, you have to think about that you have these seven friends that you know over there now who could potentially be fighting in all these places. Lindsay Cohen, Fox 29. Officials with Toglit Birthright Israel Program, which sponsors the free trip for 18 to 26 year olds, say that most American groups are already back home. But the groups that are there now will not be brought home early. Instead, security and safety will dictate the places in Israel they will go. Now, for more information about this program, just log on to our website at news12now.com and click on the links and numbers icon.